<laughs> Sophie Turner subtly trolled Joe Jonas with Taylor Swift reference just days before announcing the end of their marriage. Sophie Turner appeared to troll Joe Jonas with a subtle Taylor Swift reference just days before announcing the end of their marriage. The singer, 34, filed for divorce from the mother of his two children, 27, in Miami, Florida, earlier this month. And in subsequent legal documents that have followed August 15th was listed as a pivotal day in the deterioration of the relationship. Just two days before that Sophie appeared to subtle troll Joe during one of their last public appearances with a reference to singer Taylor, 33, who she has been seen out with several times since the split. On August 13th, Sophie was in the audience for one of the Jonas Brothers' the tour dates in New York City. And fans noticed a detail about her outfit that night that seemed to poke fun at Joe. She had on a series of friendship bracelets made famous by Swifties and one spells out Mr. Perfectly Fine. This is the name of one of Taylor's songs released as a vault track off her album Fearless back in 2021. At the time fans flooded the internet with theories that the song was about Taylor's time with Joe. Jonas Brothers star, Joe, filed for divorce from Sophie on September 1st and details of the couple's messy divorce battle have emerged daily. After filing for divorce, Joe took to Instagram to post a statement, which claimed to be from both him and Sophie, asking the public for privacy during this difficult time. The post read, After four wonderful years of marriage, we have mutually decided to amicably end our marriage. There are many speculative narratives as to why, but truly this is a united decision and we sincerely hope that everyone can respect our wishes for privacy for us and our children. However, it appears the couple's divorce so far has not been amicable, as last week, Sophie's lawyers accused Joe of wrongful retention regarding their children. The couple share Willa, three, and a 14-month-old baby, whose name hasn't been publicly announced yet. In court documents, Sophie claimed that an argument that took place on August 15th may have been the end of their marriage, and Joe filed for divorce less than three weeks later. Sophie also claimed that she was not told directly about the divorce, and it has also been alleged that Joe would not return the children's passports so that Sophie could return to England with the children. According to recent developments, Sophie's legal petition said the couple's permanent home was England as of April this year. It also stated that Joe claimed that the children, who have dual citizenship, had lived in Florida for six months before the divorce papers were filed. However, the court filing disputed that Sophie claimed they had met previously and agreed for their two children to be sent home to England. A spokesperson for Joe told CNN in a statement, the children were born in the U.S. and have spent the vast majority of their lives in the U.S. They are American citizens. In an exclusive interview with DailyMail.com, an insider stated that Joe thinks it is disgusting that Sophie has made him look like a horrible father while victimizing their kids. Sources have since told DailyMail.com that he is frustrated that the separation is turning into a nasty mess following their four years of marriage. Speaking exclusively to DailyMail.com, a source said, Joe is livid with the latest coming from Sophie, making him look like a horrible father. It is disgusting in his eyes what she has chosen to do. This is only going to be the start of stuff getting Messier and Messier and Messier. Joe thought they were moving in a forward direction with the divorce and finding a way to co-parent, but now it is just a nasty mess, and the latest lawsuit threw any type of positivity all off course. The source continued, with the divorce, Joe is also trying to steer his commitments with the Jonas Brothers tour and just get to the other side. Frustration is the emotion running through him right now, and it doesn't seem like that will be changing anytime soon. A second source added that Joe is unhappy with how his children have been dragged into his and Sophie's very public divorce battle while claiming that the singer believes the Game of Thrones star's recent outings with his other ex, Taylor Swift, have been staged. The kids are the victims, the other insider shared. Sophie and Taylor are not close. Joe took Sophie to a show of Taylor's, and it wasn't even comped. Again, he is who filed for divorce. Read between the lines. They concluded, Joe wants to take the high road and have an amicable resolution. He just wants to work out a compromise with Sophie so that they are both able to be present parents in their children's lives. He loves his kids, and she does too. 
After the news emerged that Sophie was suing her ex-husband Joe in order to try and move their two children back to England, a representative for Joe said in a statement to DailyMail.com that the singer was seeking shared parenting with the Game of Thrones star and added, the children were not abducted. This is an unfortunate legal disagreement about a marriage that is sadly ending. When language like abduction is used, it is misleading at best and a serious abuse of the legal system at worst. The children were not abducted, the representative said. After being in Joe's care for the past three months at the agreement of both parties, the children are currently with their mother. Sophie is making this claim only to move the divorce proceedings to the UK and to remove the children from the US permanently. Joe's representative also said the singer had already disavowed any and all statements purportedly made on his behalf that were disparaging of Sophie. They were made without his approval and are not consistent with his views. His wish is that Sophie reconsider her harsh legal position and move forward in a more constructive and private manner, the statement said. His only concern is the well-being of his children. The representative also denied Sophie's allegation that she did not know he was filing for divorce. After multiple conversations with Sophie, Joe initiated divorce proceedings in Florida, as Florida is the appropriate jurisdiction for the case. Sophie was aware that Joe was going to file for divorce, the representative said. The Florida court has already entered an order that restricts both parents from relocating the children. Sophie was served with this order on September 6th, 2023, more than two weeks ago. Meanwhile, Maureen Callahan, how delicious to see Team Jonas Ugly Bad Mom Blitzkrieg on Sophie Turner misfire so spectacularly. She will win this dirty divorce saga and his good guy image may be destroyed forever. In a year of messy celebrity splits, the Sophie Turner Joe Jonas bust up may be the messiest. But it's also the most revelatory, we are watching, in real time, the bad mommy narrative backfire, spectacularly. Before the couple announced their separation earlier this month, Jonas's team seemed to embark on a none too subtle blitzkrieg. Joe was suddenly a de facto single parent to two small daughters, ages three and one, even as he was on tour. Oh, how he was suffering. Look at this not at all staged paparazzi shot, Joe holding one of his daughters with Sophie nowhere in sight, his wedding ring visibly missing. If only their mother could bother to, well, be a mother. She likes to party, a Jonas source told TMZ, and he likes to stay at home. They have very different lifestyles. We all know what partying is code for, the implication that Turner drinks too much or uses drugs. It was ugly and gratuitous and hypocritical, after all, are we meant to believe that 34-year-old Joe Jonas, who has been famous since he was a teenager, who has spent the bulk of his life as a touring pop musician and has a string of famous ex-girlfriends, Gigi Hadid and Taylor Swift among them, is a choir boy? Please. Those infamous purity rings came off a long time ago. Here's Turner in a 2021 Netflix comedy roast of her husband and his brothers. For those of you who don't know, purity rings are worn to demonstrate that you're abstaining from sex before marriage. And the Jonas brothers, they all had them. But Joe Jonas wasn't just sticking his fingers in some dumb metal rings, he was sticking his fingers in co-stars, actresses, and even a supermodel were two as a teenage Disney star. As they say, there's a grain of truth in every joke. And what about the Joe Jonas who told CBS Sunday Morning in May 2021 that it took a global pandemic for him to become an active presence in his children's lives? It's been forced time at home, he said. I'm always on the go. I'm always moving and traveling and touring. And to be in one place for a solid amount of time and have my feet on the ground and be with my family, my immediate family, is time I don't think I'll get back. Here's how Turner described herself to Conan O'Brien in April 2020, early into lockdown, I'm an introvert. I'm a homebody. If I could stay at home all day I would, so this is great for me. What an epic misfire for Team Jonas then to paint Turner's decision to film a six-part ITV series in England last summer as abandonment. This is really archaic stuff. As described in Turner's bombshell court filing Thursday, more on that later, the job was the first significant role the mother has taken on since having the children. 
A friend of Turner's told the Daily Mail that the actress, now 27, had been struggling for a while. She feels like her life has stalled after Game of Thrones, and so has her personal life. Sophie feels like she's only just waking up to what her life and reality really is. She became famous at a very young age, then married and had kids at a young age and never really had the teenage years of sleeping around and just having carefree fun with friends.